What up guys, it is Christian Stevenson, AKA DJ Barbecue. Today we're gonna do a pork tenderloin with purple sauce. What's purple sauce? Well, my boy Chris Taylor in there, he looks like Gandalf's bastard nephew. We're working on, a, on an Alabama white sauce and we're doing our own kind of variations of it. And then we added a bit of barbecue sauce to give it a tiny bit of sweetness. And it looked a bit more purple. So hence, purple sauce. And it's only a couple ingredients. It's basically cider vinegar, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, cracked pepper, salt, and garlic granules. All right, so first off, we need the meat. Um, is there a pork tenderloin in there somewhere? Come in soon, chef. Come in soon. Come on! Can't get any good help, man. That's Chris. All right, we've got our pork tenderloin. So, real simple, olive oil and salt is all we're gonna do on that. Nice and simple. And then we're gonna move it to the indirect side to make sure it's cooked all the way through. We've got our pork tenderloin. And we're gonna send it straight onto direct heat. I'm gonna get it some color, flip it a couple times, and move it to the indirect side and put the lid on, turn my outdoor cooker into an outdoor oven. Now it's the turn of the purple sauce. Come on. So the pork tenderloin is cooking. It's now time to make our purple sauce. So this is how you, you, you do your kind of measurements. Uh, a cup of mayonnaise to three fourths of a cup of cider vinegar. So we're gonna get a load of that in there. You just wanna see the right consistency. Kind of not too thick. You know, you just want it to lightly coat the meat side of vinegar in there and what makes it purple a bit of barbecue sauce I'd say like two tablespoons of barbecue sauce you can add some hot sauce in there and then lots and lots of pepper and I'm gonna throw a good couple pinches of salt in there and then one of the best ingredients in the history of barbecue garlic granules two teaspoons of that and blend all those dudes. All right, that's it. That's the consistency I want. The purple sauce is done. You want to make loads of this, especially if you're cooking for lots of people. One pork tenderloin ain't gonna do. Plus, if you do like three or four or five, you know, they make great leftover sandwiches, man. You got the kids going to school the next day, just slice a couple of those pork tenderloins up, put them in some bread, send the kids to school. They'll be like, Dad, um, can you do that every time? Why, of course I can, son. Of course I can, daughter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I wanna finish off with a bit of drizzle of this sauce, but I'm gonna put you know, the meat in here, so I'm just gonna throw a load into this bowl that I'm gonna drizzle on right at the end. This is my dip, and this is my drizzle. Dip, drizzle, drizzle, dip. It's time for the dip and the angels do sing. It needs about 10 more minutes, but I'm gonna go indirect with the heat. So, I throw that big old joint into my cauldron. I'm gonna take it, uh, this cut, this muscle, and put it all the way over here. So I've got charcoal on this side, nothing here. Half and half technique, and now I'm gonna put my lid on, turn the outdoor grill into an outdoor oven. It's done. Oh, smells beautiful. Oh gosh, look at that beautiful hunk of meat. The most gorgeous muscle with the fillet, the, the tenderloin. That, that muscle loves marinade, it loves flavor. There's not a whole lot of fat there. You know, it's a, it's a pure muscle, so it's nice and tender and it loves sauce, it loves marinades, it loves seasoning. It's rested, it's now time to slice, drizzle, and eat. Oh my gosh, look at the juices coming out of this guy. Nice and juicy, nice and tender. The finishing sauce, we dipped it twice, and now we're just gonna drizzle some onto the meat. Bring that sweet, tangy goodness. Oh, here it goes. Mm. Oh, I love when the tang hits you in the back. Mm. There you have it. This sauce works great on poultry, really good on turkey, man. 
I'm DJ Barbecue. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy our videos. There's loads more on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It is free. And a big old thanks to Reno for building us the raddest food truck in the history of food trucks. See you guys next time.